Hello, in this video I'm going to show you a few models I folded because um, I folded recently here on YouTube, which is the Maple Leaf by Yasu OQ Seok. I'm probably going to pronounce a lot of um, names incorrectly, sorry for that. Cigarette Pack and Matchbox uh, from David Brill. All of these folds, unless I mention them, are from one piece of paper. Glynn Cookie Monster. Spinning Top Arai. Um, kangaroo with a baby kangaroo in the pouch. Um, Engel. Uh, another bigger one. You can see the ears there. Um, let's see. We've got a horse by David Brill. I think the most beautiful horse, um, origami horse design out there that I've seen so far. Um, can Love Be Squashed by Chen, which is just a fun model because you can squash it. Um, black belt in origami. Let me have a quick look. Um, that's Glynn again. Then there's the Eastern Dragon by Wu. I've got another one here. Depends on how you fold the tail. Um, then we've got the Caterpillar. It's Caterpillar by... Van Gelder. Then we've got a walrus by Lang. Like those teeth. Um, I've got a few modular ones. I don't hold very much modular stuff, so this is like kind of special. Um, this one I kind of like those, so I folded that at home. And uh, that's Umulius Rectangulum by Kalmon. And then I've got a few that I can't name, because we folded them in the Origami Society. This one, and this one, and another one here. These are all modular, so from more than one piece of paper. Then we've got the Ground Beetle by um, Montreal. There's a bigger version. Really scary, huh? Um, then, uh, what else do we have? We've got a scorpion, a smaller version, red, a scorpion um, by Lang. Uh, then we've got a few Fujimoto models, Hydrangea, and we've got a I think this is called Clover Folding. Then uh, we've got Crowding Butterflies. And uh, we've got a Rose Tessellation by, by Kawasaki. You can see there's a bunch of roses here and you can go on forever depending on what size of paper you've got. Uh, talking about Kawasaki, I guess we've got the Spyro snail shell. This is transparent paper, kind of looks nice, but very hard to see on the camera. Been folding much smaller ones on those. We've got the Kawasaki rose in small. I've been folding a lot of those, but here's the bigger version too. And then we've got the Atlantic Purple Sea Urchin by Lang. A lot of points here. That's a big version and the first time I folded it I actually used small paper, so that's the small version. And um, then we've got Montreal's Stegosaurus. This was the first time I folded it with big paper. It's what I advise people to do when um, they fold a model the first time use bigger paper because it's much easier. Not all too big because then it gets harder. Then we've got the three-headed dragon by Montreal. Got two wings, got a tail, 
and especially it's got three heads. Want to see one of the heads close up? Even got a tank. And then there is the Sherry Snail, which I showed you um, in a video. And there is a smaller one. And what else do we have? We've got this Hurt Bookmark by Best. So if you take a, uh, take a origami book for this, and you know, kind of stick it on like that. Right? Hurt Bookmark. Kind of nice. I actually never use it, but it's a very simple model. This is. Um, Andrea's Rose by Nolan. You can go on forever until your eyes pop out or um, the paper rips, I don't know. This is a Rose Brooch by Chen. And oh, here's another modular piece which is the Magic Rose Cube. Um, who is it from? Um, Van, I think. I can't find it on my list here right now. So you kind of open up these leaves and you open this up a bit. And that. And that. And then you've got a nice flower. And then you push it together. You've got a cube, and these bits here you can stick in, I'm not going to do that now. Um, then we've got Blütenkreisel by Sprung. Uh, we've got, now let's see, this is the duck, um, oh, this is a duck by Montreux, if I'm correct. Then uh, a goose, probably by Montreux too. Um, a pelican by Montreal. And uh, let's see, we've got a Kawasaki frog. And it looks like it's in the merge of jumping. And a Kawasaki lizard. And then we've got the Weiss kangaroo, which I also did a video to. And um, Yedi Master Yodo by Kamahata. This is actually not in a good shape anymore because I keep these models in a plastic bag, I have to admit. And finally, there's the Horsefly by Lang. Well, there we are. Those were a few models. I hope you enjoyed them. Maybe you want to see some of them. I want to show a bunch of them. Especially, I want to show uh, the scorpion, and I want to show the sea urchin. So, um, those are some of the models I will be showing, but um, I still have to work in the videos. Okay, bye-bye!